give a girl some code and she'll be like, what are all these weird numbers? But teach a girl to code and she'll eat for a lifetime or something like that. I don't actually teach coding, but you know who does? Tabitha Berger. A good teacher knows how to break complex subjects down for their students. Things like mathematical radicals, the infinite expansion of the universe, or how static electricity can put the power of lightning in your fingertips might not make sense at first glance, but dedicated educators tailored their lessons to their students' abilities and interests. Something computer science teacher Tabitha Berger knows all too well. To me, the best part of my day is working with the students and seeing when that light bulb clicks. And it's like, oh, Ms. Berger, look what I can do. Keeping her high school students inspired means searching for new innovative lesson plans, which Tabitha does on the Pathfinders Online Institute from our sponsor, Infosys Foundation USA, where she can network with other educators and even create coding projects that find computer science solutions to today's real world problems. Like if we give students these opportunities to take problems in the community or in the world and just ask them their solutions, they will truly blow your minds. So I headed to the Floyd County School of Innovation to see what solutions Tabitha's students are dreaming up. Like using drones to fly medical supplies into the vast wilds of Kentucky for injured ATV riders. If they go out in the, on a trail and they get hurt or injured, and it takes us a while to get to them, our students looked at how could we design a carrier to fit on the drone so that we can get some emergency supplies to them quickly. Another of her classroom's real-world applications? Considering the social implications in the artificial intelligence behind self-driving cars. They do an activity where they have to decide if the brakes were to fail in this driverless car, does it hit a barrier or does it hit pedestrians? And that's a really eye-opening activity for them. It gets them thinking more along the lines of, so how could I, how could I prevent that? The answer, of course, is with coding. But before they can give the car a complex choice, they have to get it moving. They would get a, a block of code, and I said, go from this point A to that point B. OK. And they would just map out, well, I've got to drive forward this many feet, you know, get out some measurement tools. And then they would do some math. Once the wheels are turning, students can program the car to react to what it sees in its path. How does a self-driving car see? With sensors. Real self-driving cars are covered in cameras and sensors, like radar and ultrasonic detectors, gathering data about the car's speed, traffic lights, lane lines, and any obstacles or pedestrians nearby. This demo car only has one sensor, a camera. And what they'll do is code it to see specific colors. So they'll go in and they'll put these underneath it and they'll say, this is red, this is blue, this is green. And then when they go back to their code, they can tell it a conditional statement. So if an object exists and that object is red, these are the you know things you need to do. If it's blue, do this. Once they've learned how to code it, the next thing that they start talking about is how is this beneficial to the community? How is it giving back? So we always talk about how we want technology to be a help and not to like just take somebody's job. As an engineer and a coder myself, I think it's really cool to see that students at younger and younger ages are starting to learn how to code. This opens up the possibilities for students to see how they can take a real world problem and they can make those solutions. Well, your students are lucky to have you. Thank you. <laughs> and Tabitha feels just as lucky, not only to continue her own education, but to be a part of a network inspiring the problem solvers of tomorrow. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.